I'm open. I'm open for um, one piece of proof. I'm very confident, you see. I'm a good gambler, you see. I'm going to gamble on this one that no one can come with this, you see. No one can come with this proof. In fact, in fact, I don't know if you're going to come now, you see. And I could be wrong. So now my money is at risk. You see? Can you give me something that is 100% fact? I want you to tell me, explain to me, show me something that is 100% fact. 100% fact that has not been redesigned or invented or created something that is absolutely real and reality means that it is always present you see it is always here a fact cannot go away once the fact goes it is fiction you see so when you say that table is fact. That table will go. That table is a name, you see. Okay? That table was made of wood. So then we say the tree is fact. You see, the tree is not fact. The tree came from a seed and will go, chopped down, made into table. So before the tree is fact. So the earth is fact. See? Yeah? The earth is continually moving and changing. It is not stable. You cannot say it's fact. In 5,000 years, the earth will not be here. So it's then fiction. You're not fact, you see. You're going to be gone. Body and the earth. 5,000 years, atoms in space. Oh, space is fact, you see. Space is invisible. <laughs> yeah? You say to a child, come and see this, I've got fresh air. Look, it's fact. <laughs> I can't see anything, says a child. Universe must be fact, you see. So we're getting closer to this fact. The fact is, we don't know. We've never experienced 100% fact, 100% reality. We've never experienced something that is permanent, that is always here. So what we do is we imagine to keep us from going absolutely crazy, lunatic humans, we invent a God. He is fact. See? God is fact. Yeah, well, show us some pictures, you know. Show us what this God is. Oh, God is everything. The table is God, you see. So now the table is fact. God is not fact, you see. God is another name. God is an anagram of dog. How blasphemous. They call me a reverse dog? Says this fictional character. Everything is temporary. You can stick a painting on your wall. The painting is not real, you see. Because before it was a painting, it was in the earth core as powder. The paint was powder. The canvas was made from whatever. Plant, tree. The brushes made from animal hair and trees. Then we go back again, you see. Trees, seed, 
earth, space, universe. Ah, the galaxies must be fact. Where are the galaxies? You know, show us the galaxies. You know, show me something. Give me something in front of your hands. A picture, a word, something that says, "This will always be here for eternity." Because it has to be here forever and ever to be a fact. What is the point of this, you see? The point is, why do you seek for something that you will never find? Why do you seek for this God? Why do you seek within the earth? Why do you seek for angels? All fictional, all fictional, even if seen, it is not there permanently. If it's there permanently, you have to be there permanently to see it every single moment of eternal life, you see. You get this? Without you, I cannot be fact. So, you are the most important thing, primarily. You are the most important thing to understand and see and value and say, yes, that's fiction. Everything is fiction, but this thing is fact. But you're going to go, you see, so then it will become fiction. So what is fact? Can a fact be seen, a factual thing, a real thing, a permanent, always unchanging, untarnished, unblemished, unmoving thing be seen? Of course it can't. So fact has to, to find this factual thing, it has to be sensory. It has to be sensory, okay? We use up to now the outward senses, eyes, nose, mouth, ears, hands, to find fact. But these eyes, nose, ears, mouth and hands will go. So they are useless, you see. They are useless. The brain will go. The mind body will go. So inside every single being, every single human, there is a sense that there has to be something that is permanent. And inside every human being is the place to look for permanence then. And can you find it, you see? And if you do, can you show it to this one? And do you know within that when this body goes that you will always be witnessing this permanence? If you do, can you share it? When this body goes, can you share it? I'm, I'm here, I'm here, it's there. This permanent thing. Why can no one see me? Look, look, look. It's forever. It's forever. It's permanent. Help. Look. And you're sitting drinking your parents, wife. Oh, it's a shame John wasn't here to see the sunset. Permanent. I found it. So what is it you're looking for? You see? The whole object of this is to say, what are you looking for? Are you looking for something permanent? Are you looking for eternal permanent bliss? Eternal permanent happiness? Eternal permanent emptiness? Eternal permanent freedom? Eternal permanent love? If you are, you have to look at you 
being permanent. You have to be there in the permanent state. So before you look outward for permanence, you have to make sure that you are permanent. Do you get this? You have to make sure that you are always the witness of this permanence. So you must look for yourself first, your permanent state first, your stable state. No, I can say you, you can't show me anything that is fact. And I can't show you what is fact. But together, when you look within and find your permanence, the fact is revealed. And you don't have to share it. Because you know that everyone is collectively permanent. And that whatever permanence you're looking for, you have to be looking from permanence, even if there is another state that is permanent outside you, within you, you have to be here first. It is useless without you. Whatever you're seeking for and you find will become temporary. If you find or you see an illusion of an angel, even though this angel lives in your home and it sits in the corner, unmoving, no one else can see it. At some point, you will go. Yeah? Your body will go. Your mind will go. So at some point, you may be trying to convince people that there is a permanent feature in your house, an angel. It does not move. Always there. Same face, same position every day. And they won't believe you. And then when the body goes, you remain. Angel still there. Fact. Fact. But you have to see your permanence in the body to understand it. You have to see this permanent that lies within you, that you are, whilst in a body, to understand it. Because when the body goes, the angel has no name, you see. The angel, you have no name. Your mind is gone, your body is gone. You become this, this fact. And the fact and the fact together have no eyes, ears, nose, mouth and senses. But they know the sensory thing, they merge and only fact remains. But to know it, to see it in a body, you cannot share it. Because it's not form. You can write it in a book. No one will understand it. Because they all think they are temporary. So this book and this writing of what you see to them is temporary. And the book is temporary. And the worlds are temporary. Because they believe they are temporary. Fact is. You see? Fact is. fact cannot be you cannot say the fact is that because as soon as you say that that is separate from you fact is the fact is it is stable is it is you cannot say I am 
without someone saying what? I is stable. I'm is existing. I am Graham is now separation. Fiction. I don't know if you understand this. The fact is I don't really mind. Because I know that you're not fictional. You are the only thing in your world that is not fictional. Inside your body. And outside your body. But anything that you perceive, anything that you sense with your nose, eyes, ears, mouth and hands is fictional. Namaste.